Namaste and hi. Welcome to Easy Analytics channel. Today I'm very excited because it's been now 5 days since the lockdown got over and you know what that means we can get back into our routines we can go out. So this week I went for my gym, I went for my boxing classes. I don't know if I'm going to lose my <laughs> hand or arm or leg. If I do I'll let you guys know. Um also, you know, I met some of my friends after 4 months, uh, which was great. We had a couple of drinks, we went out for to park, we relaxed and you know, we went to Darlin Harbor. It's quite nice. In the following weeks, things are going to get more relaxed. That seems to be the intention from the government. Hopefully, we don't go back into the lockdown. I I I'm pretty positive we won't, but hopefully we don't. So yeah, for today I'm going to discuss about top five SQL commands that an undergrad and grad should know if they are aspiring to be a data analyst or if they are um, applying for a data analyst role under um, Australia Analytics industry. Things are these commands will help you. Um, getting into industry, such as if if you have um, interviews, second technical, first technical, knowing these commands will help your will help you to increase your probability to get into uh, an industry. The second thing is these commands you will use the most in analytics industry. It doesn't matter which organization, but if you are in Australia analytics. you can expect this the why question is very important over here the first why question is why sql and why not other languages over here i am not saying that other languages are not important definitely python r sas they are quite important however the applications are different on the other hand sql is made for your database wrangling and other functionalities that you are supposed to do as a data analyst i'll deep dive in it once we start you know what what's i'm going to talk about it and i i want to focus on why you should learn this first and then move to other languages to show that i'm going to cover three aspects the second why question that comes in is why these five commands and why not other commands so i am not saying again that other commands are not important you will use them in the industry however knowing these top five commands will help you get into industry what i really mean is that if you have a technical interview and you know if these are the question types that they're going to ask you then you can prepare it beforehand and this will improve your probability to get in so that's something i'm going to talk about this these video seems to be quite big so i'm going to create two segments the first segment is why sql and the second segment is going to contain why these five commands right So let's get into it. So why SQL? So as a data analyst, you will be performing some duties such as data cleaning, data wrangling, data transformations, and sometimes you might have to do some calculations as well based on the business requirements to do, to get the final data set to do your further analysis. Yeah. To do that. you have several you know tools for you such as sql you have you can use sql as a language you have python you have sas you have r so there are many things available to you i'm going to compare sql and python over here because they are quite popular amongst data analytics community and they are definitely used in australian you know analytics industry So the first thing is simplicity. So if you are very new to data analytics, then I would say start with SQL because this will give you uh, a bit of understanding how you can do data wrangling, right? And how do you clean the data in terms of relational databases? 
they are easier to learn it's like an english language you say select all from which is you know simple and when you but there are cases when you go into the complexity of building queries then it's complex so you would like to move to other language and that's where python comes in um, so yeah definitely you can learn python but the first language to go for is the sql because of the simplicity the second thing is the speed so when you are in an industry you're not going to deal with 1000 rows of data 2000 rows of data sydney is the financial hub and you can expect a lot of data and when i say a lot of data 1 million 2 million 3 million 10 million rows of data along with 20 other columns at the same time so to crunch those numbers and to do so much of data cleaning you need speed as well and to do that sql is built for that so for all the relational databases that you have sql is the language that is optimized for that purpose if we look at python it has pandas library which is great it performs all the functionalities what you have in sql however if we go along the data frames and if you look at millions of rows it is not optimized for it because it's made on top of it, these libraries are for to be used in python to execute the same purpose but they are not built entirely for the databases so you can apply those functionalities on top of it but these are not optimized for it so that's why you know um, when you are going for large number of data uh, then you will see the difference however if you have let's say 10,000 20,000 rows then you won't see any difference and especially if you're going to an analytics industry they have big servers to deal with uh, these kind of complexities so yes SQL is definitely um, heavily used in industry the third aspect is jobs so that is the main you know thing that you are looking for over here so i'm gonna go through a few job listings job descriptions and see what these companies are requiring from you guys right so let's see that all right so let me just open a few so there are a few links available on the internet such as seek and you know linkedin and there are a couple of them like other ones um i am majorly using seek and linkedin because i i got the jobs from there and i think uh, they are kind of legit um when you look at job descriptions so for instance Oh yeah, th this one, let's say data analyst, mid-level, Python, SQL, and Tableau. So this one act in the header says that they need these three things and it, SQL comes as second and Python is this first, which is fine. Two years plus analyst and experience in SQL and Python, mandatory. Let's look at another one, like a more Mars. Let's see the Mars one. Marketing, advanced SQL, coding expertise. So they are not asking for Python, right? So you, if you know SQL, then it's a higher probability. And I'll let you know like what top five SQL commands mean. And they are all at, you know, most of them are advanced level. So if you know these commands, then it helps you to improve your probability to get in. So many jobs. Definitely jobs are available. All right. This one, graduate data analyst. <laughs> okay. I know this guy. I know this guy from work. <laughs> I let him know. <laughs> oh my God. Um, <laughs> what all right um yeah <laughs> so 
ability to utilize advanced tools um delivery insights which is in sql saas so sql comes first in this one i can't <laughs> i can't imagine my coffee name but um i let him know after this video let's look at some linkedin ones uh, all righty after pay so apparently after pay is a pretty big company like it's a new company and if you have invested in this so you probably made a lot of money its shares prices are going above and beyond so that's pretty huge um yeah um in in their job description they don't mention any technical thing they want only thing is tableau which makes sense but this is not a great job description to be honest like they should probably mention um if they need more technical because over here they are saying phd degree in quantitative fields but they have not mentioned so it looks more of a data science than data analytics not sure let's look at another one data insight analyst macquarie group is pretty huge it has a lot of employees you can see it's like 16000 plus employees pretty big company not as big as combank but yeah. have knowledge of sql it says over here it it's the first thing they say and then they say python being an advantage so their main focus is sql not python you know and then we have canva canva is good company as well it is in designing it's a it's focused more around um uh the the teenagers and then you know like if you if you're moving in in that direction the to to do the alphas and yeah strong competency with sql um that's what it says such as snowflake redshift and bigquery experience python but the first thing is sql you know that's what we see and then look let's look at senior i'm not going to go look at senior ones i just want to look at you know normal data analyst roles okay so in this one it says that you know their data sql server experience oracle sql advanced sql programming skills and if you look at westpac it's a big company if it has roles it has a lot of roles over there and i can see that there's so many data analyst roles that you can definitely find um roles available in uh, australia the thing is that how do you get in to an industry that's very important right yeah a lot of opportunities assurance junior data analyst visualization automation analyst wow that's like so many but they mention over here they such as python r sql but because it's a visualization i would expect them to say more of tableau over here data analysts wow. yeah so I think you get the gist out of it that you can find jobs in data analytics. Um the second thing is that if you look at SQL it's dominant in Australia. If you know SQL then you have more chances to get in. And that's why I want you to focus first on SQL to get your base clear as for the data analyst role. and then following that you can start learning about other languages such as python or r or sas yeah so let me know what do you guys feel about it you know if you have any questions let me know and um i'll try to help i'm going to post a link inside this one only so that uh, you can go to the other video where i'm going to 
uh, tell you about the top five commands um, that will improve your probability and why we are using these commands within industry. So yeah, let's, uh, I'm pretty hungry now, oh my God. Um, so yeah, catch you later.